Good morning all. Hey, this is Will Kenish with the group up in Steamboat. I am in a new listing. This is an office exclusive for the next couple of days. Um, so I wanted to get it to you pronto because we seem to be very competitive in this niche of the market. So I'm in uh, Storm Meadows Building A, uh, Club A, and this is unit um, A113. It is a main floor unit, and I am in the living room, great room area. Uh, over here, it's got a gas burning stove. It has luxury vinyl plank floors that must have been recently involved because they look clean and fresh. Decent sized dining space. Um, they've added in some additional lighting up on the walls there up on the ceiling over here as well. Got a, a little TV over in the corner. Got a little alder trim to protect the wall from uh, sliding chairs and so on. And then over here we've got the kitchen. Kitchen has been updated as well. They have uh, alder cabinets, some very fun, interesting trim hardware or on the cabinets. And then they've got a, a granite tile. As you can see, there are grout lines on it, which isn't my favorite, but uh, it looks like it's put together well, nicely installed. So it's um, pretty nice. Stainless steel appliances. Um, these are uh, a, a GE dishwasher, Kenmore for the uh, range, Kenmore for the fridge, and then the, the uh, dishwasher is GE and the microwave is GE. So decent sets, nothing fancy. Um, kind of an entry level uh, appliance set. So it's a decent kitchen and it does offer uh, bar top seating. So you can sit there at the bar and it's also all at the same working height. So you don't have like a big step up and you can use that space pretty nicely. So, um, the, one of the cool things about the storm architecture is they have these huge timber beams that are accents. A lot of people have those, uh, as dark timber. They've got a uh, tongue and groove on the ceiling with the rough sawn cedar. And then here is our living space. They've got a uh, fold out couch, a couple of lounge chairs. And then the doors here actually open up to the first bedroom. They've got it locked from the other side. That didn't work. <laughs> Sorry about that. So um, here they have an owner's closet. It's currently closed. You could use that as an owner's closet for your skis and boots and stuff like that. Or it could act as a pantry. So here they've got a little wine rack, mirror, and coat hooks for your hanging gloves and hats. Here at the entrance, you got a bench so you can sit down, throw your ski boots on, a couple of uh, hanging hooks for coats and jackets, a little rack for keys, and then a little cubby up here for your hats and gloves. So when you walk in, you can go to the left to the main living area or to the right to the bedrooms. And so let's go to the right first. And the first space to the right is a bathroom. Bathroom has um, travertine countertops, brushed nickel hardware, older wrapped mirror, which is a nice detail. The cabinet hardware is older. Then we've got a set of shelves in the back. Regular toilet. Here they've got the uh, four by four tile. This is nothing fancy. Kind of a builder grade um, tile and then the tub tub looks like it's in pretty good shape chrome hardware doors nothing nothing fancy in this bathroom but it is it does have the nice upgraded vanity uh, across from the bathroom is a closet closet's kind of your standard closet coat depth uh, got a couple of skis in here shelf up top it's kind of deep so you can get some stuff in there. And then the first bedroom at the end of the hall 
is the master. The master offers, uh, in here you've got a huge room. It's probably 15 feet across, maybe more. And king size bed, two and a half foot uh, bedside tables. Again, we've got the large timbers in here. So it's got a fairly tall ceiling. Um, and then over on the far end, you've got uh, a kind of a standard depth closets with bifold doors. Plenty of room in there for visitors. And so here we go to the, hey there. Uh, this is the master or primary um, bathroom. So again, we've got the alder cabinetry. This is a tile rather than the travertine on the uh, vanity sink. It's a single sink. So this is a three piece bath rather than a four. Got brushed, uh, brushed nickel hardware at the sink and in the light fixture, towel, towel rods are the same. Curtain rod is the same. And you've got tile plus a travertine um, deco detail in here. And in here we've got a, a, a shower rather than a tub shower combo. The shower offers a nice big um, five foot by two and a half foot pan and then a seat to uh, sit and shave for you ladies and so on. So in here we also have the vinyl, uh, luxury vinyl plank flooring and then I didn't point this out, but in the master, there is carpet. Carpet looks like it is new or nearly new. So it's in good shape. Over here in the um, master, all of the uh, bedrooms and the family room offer uh, a walkout. So you get to walk out to the patio. And so if pets are a part of your vacation plans this is kind of cool that you actually are on the ground floor and you could uh, walk straight out here but this is pretty uh, pretty awesome with the views you've got huge views that stretch from emerald all the way over to the the flat tops straight out there you got the uh, view of the two new gondolas and then as you step out you can see up the mountain as as well so it's cool because it opens up. You got big views to the south and the South Valley. So landscaping wise, it looks like they're installing um, some new utilities in here, wire or sprinkler or something. So this is all torn up, but really cool spot. It's nice to have uh, both the ground floor and uh, some views that go with it. So let's go back in. Oh, here on the patio, Shh, sorry. Um, patio actually is kind of cool because it gives you about six feet of space and there's a, a rock wall for privacy. So compared to many of the other units, this is a really big, um, big space that you can uh, use for your outside living. All right. Okay, so coming in from the front door, the first bedroom as you head down the hallway to, uh, you move to your right, and then the first bedroom on your left is the secondary bedroom. They've got it set up with um, matching twins. It's got uh, lap siding detail along the back wall. Again, we've got the tall ceilings and beams, ceiling fan to cool things off in the summer. And then they have, oh, that's why I couldn't open it. This is a, this is a huge six foot wide pocket door. So that whole door slides. That's pretty slick. I haven't seen that. I've seen it slide both directions, but not, the, not like that. So huge pocket door and that does make it so that this space in the family room feels much bigger much more wide open and you can probably use this space in a lot of different ways if this was your 
like primary residence. It could become an office or you can keep it like it is as a bunk room. In here again, we've got uh, uh, carpet on the floors, same carpet as in the primary bedroom. And then again, you've got a, uh, a walkout onto that same patio that I was on before. In here, we've also got a closet, smaller closet, kind of your typical uh, single width closet, standard depth closet there. And then if you were sitting here in the bed, you could view TV, but that's kind of a small TV from here. <laughs> so, uh, and then over here in the family room again, you've got uh, the same type of exit where you can walk out onto the patio and share those same, same views. So, um, this is an interesting property and kind of, uh, kind of nice because it does provide you ski in, ski out access. And so, I don't know if you can see it down here. See this sign? There's a little blue sign there that says, points to the right and it says ski slope. You can follow this little trail that takes you to where you can pop your skis on right here from where I'm standing and ski straight down to the resort. And then it has a, a skiing trail that you, if you were to come down from Burgess Creek, you can pop onto a trail and that trail will uh, bring you right back up here to your unit, which is pretty awesome. Um, down below, I don't know if you can see that there, they got the new uh, jump trail. Um, for the bike park so some fun stuff down there in the summer as well so uh, with that I'm gonna wrap up in this unit and I'll take you up to the, the front entry and show you what that's about okay I'm in the hallway at the bottom of the um, elevator where the elevator comes down towards this unit uh, the unit itself is the first unit on the left, very near the elevator, which is super convenient. And then inside this um, area, there's tile floors and then carpet in the hallway. I have slipped into the ski lockers. And the ski lockers right at the bottom of the elevator are down here. Here's the unit. Uh, they're about 18 inches wide, maybe two foot inside and a couple of feet deep you can kind of get a feel for the depth by looking at these units but nice to have a ski locker so you don't have to bring your wet uh, wet skis into the unit with you the unit itself doesn't have laundry but in um, down the hallway is a sep is a separate set of coin operated laundry you got room to fold clothes and stuff like that. A little change machine, uh, laundry, soap for sale over there. So everything you need is right here. Okay, I am in the lobby. As you walk into the unit, you walk in and nice uh, carpet on top of tile. So you aren't gonna be slipping on the tile with your ski boots. Elevator here. And then you got a, a set of double doors um, two sets of double doors. So you walk in, most people uh, will use this box that's in the corner here to uh, stash their key for their unit or whatever makes sense. You've got a bench here, so if you're gonna pull your ski boots on or off, you're set there. And then the they have a, a security system here which acts as the key system. So all of the keys are electronic keys to go in and out of the unit. Makes it convenient for short-term stays. And then uh, what we'll look at it outside. They've currently got it set up with a bike rack. I think they pull that out in the, in the winter. And then we've got the, the parking lot here. This unit does offer pretty good parking, so people aren't fighting for the parking here. Decent lot, nice and flat, nothing steep or crazy. 
and then over here you've got the uh, the clubhouse I'm at the clubhouse clubhouse is currently closed for some maintenance stuff but um, they do have uh, an area in there where you can send the kids if you need to get away from them um, but they do have a hot, a hot tub up here as well as a swimming pool and swimming pools decent size everything's fenced in so it's kept just for kept just for the owners and their guests and then over directly behind it um, to the west you can see the uh, um, club a Storm Meadows Club A. And that's it.